silent. Stay hidden. They're here. Sorax? What else could they be? You ready to do this? Get in position, hit them hard, and take them by surprise. Ready. Sorry. need to do better than that. Caution next time. Okay.
You cannot defeat me. Have a victory. This is destiny.
You should have fled. easily. They bleed just like we do. Now we just need one of their bloody heads. I don't like it either. Would you look at this? A crown of some kind? They seem to keep their distance from it. Maybe it's cursed. Look what I found. Let me take a look. Looks like ancient Timarian. If you find it, send for... This appears to be a name. That has to be a Sorak name. They were protecting it. It must be of great value to them. Take it then. Sure. Yes. I understand. Who are you talking to? Wait, what are you doing? Are you crazy? Why did you put it on? We have no idea what it does, whether it's evil or anything. What? I... Oh. I... It... Uh, I just kind of had to. We're supposed to share the loot, by the way. Perhaps we should rest before we head back. I say we go. Before the owner of that unpronounceable name shows his ugly face. The mission is done, after all. Is it? Did someone cut off a Sorak's head? 
All right, then. I'll do it. The sooner we go, the sooner we can get back to Ker Kiflin. After you, friends. You look a little pale. Is something wrong? I don't feel too good. Shit, I knew that hunk of junk was cursed. You don't know that. Just get rid of it. No, we need it. Need it? For what? For its power. 
I can feel it. Deep inside. Are you okay? I just need to rest for a bit. Yeah, I'm not feeling too good either. I'm exhausted as well. Maybe the curse has affected us all. Stop it. Don't be ridiculous. Fine. Let's rest for a while. Set up camp. We did it. We brought back proof. How do you feel? Better. Maybe that sickness was nothing. What about the crown? You know the council will probably take it. No! We can't bullshit them. It's gotta be a Sorak thing. It's our loot. Ours! We have to declare anything of historical value. And they have the right to buy it. And if it's priceless? Come on, they can do whatever they want. Sure. I guess we'll see. Who fought the Sorax? Us or them? How may I help you? What do you sell here? Mostly potions for heroic adventurers like yourselves. I also have recipes for customers who like to craft their own. And ingredients too. Even rare flowers from the Badlands. Come back any time. I'm almost always open. Ah, deputies. I see you found some nice, shiny loot. So, have you brought us the head of a Sorak? One head, slightly damaged. Marike, preserve us. I'm sorry I asked. At least it's dead. You should have seen it alive. I can only imagine. When's the next council meeting? When? And now, of course. The rumor of your return has already reached the palace. They're waiting for you. They are? Well, more for this. But come on. Now there's a trophy. And by the way, who's crazy now? All right. You were right, we were wrong. They do exist. Happy now? Kid, I've seen more than anyone in this town, yet nobody seems to believe me. Maybe it's a curse. The curse of being surrounded by idiots. If you don't mind, Merton, we have business to attend to. Right. Say hello to the old lady for me, Karen. Who's this guy again? Arwin Merton. He used to be a legend. The first scavenger, they say. But now, well, you can see for yourself. 
Who's this old lady? Just ignore him. Let's go. Your thoughts, Dean Fasek? I, uh, well, it looks very much as the scriptures describe. Well then, it seems we have a problem. It's a disaster. We all know what the Sor Akat did on Tirmar. There's something else. What? A crown? Hmm, interesting. Very nice find. We don't want to sell it. Why not? You know we pay well. We want to keep it. I'd like to take a look at it, though. Come on. Let them take a look. Thank you. Any ideas? It's quite massive. Clearly Imperial in style. These ruins remind me of the Imperial Schools of Magic. I have a spell I'd like to cast on this. My lords, this deputy is clearly unwell. What? What happened? You passed out. Where are we? The Temple of Einar. Marshal Beric Sumblaze himself invited us to stay here. We certainly made an impression on the Council. They believe you're attuned to the Crown, that you can't be separated from it. What, so it's cursed? They're not sure. All these big brains, and they're stumped. They cast spells on the Crown, on you. Between that and the Sorax, we cause quite a fuss out there. They'll reconvene the Council when you're ready. But trust me, there's a lot of people who want to talk to you first. Sunblaze, thank you for your hospitality. It's the least we can do for the deputies who proved that there are still Sorax on Celasta. You've proved we cannot relax our vigilance. Did you find anything else that could help us track them? There was a parchment. If you find it, send for the char. You can read that? That last word, it's not Tamarian. It's in the Sorakath tongue. I knew it. It means general. You were wise to run. Also, the fanatics we fought near that old tower. They all had this tattoo on their arm. It seems to support the idea that they were working for the Sorax under duress. It is indeed one of their ways. Now this is the A of Erevat. Can you enlighten us? Between the myth and what we've seen, it's confusing. Of course. We paladins and clerics of Einar are the guardians of these memories. Our ancestors fought the war against the Sorakath. Their god, Sortar, gave them dark powers of treachery, mind-reading, and shape-changing. They infiltrated the human society, corrupted the hearts of men, at some point, everyone was suspected to be a Sorak in disguise. Distrust broke humanity. Sortar had won. He corrupted even Erevad, god of the Inquisitors. The gods themselves decided to run away from Tirmar. They opened the rift for the humans to escape to Celasta. Many of them didn't make it. It was a tragedy. At the sight of the rift, Thousands of Sorak tried to cross. Sortar himself tried. 
The rift was closed in a gigantic blast. Our kings and heroes, Manakalan's masters of magic, were all wiped out. So, how could Sorax have survived, escaped, and then thrived on Celasta? I suppose that's another one of their tricks. But for those who had survived the war, the Exodus, it was paramount to stay vigilant, to keep the memory alive. The memory of what Sorax were, what they could do, so that if one day they were to return, we'd be ready. I'm sorry to say, after a thousand years, only a few of us remain. Now, most people believe Sorax are a mere legend, but you brought us proof the Sorax are not extinct. We fought different ones. Do you know more? The bulk of their army are foot soldiers with poisoned spines. They breed a caste of albino priests able to cast spells. Some of them are deadly assassins, invisible, venomous. Others are giant brutes. The scriptures talk of elite warriors, anti-paladins, the Shikath. Can they really impersonate people? It's been proven, though it's a long process. They used to kidnap a target, study it for weeks, sometimes months. One of their chosen ones would transform into a perfect duplicate. Upon death, they would return to their original form. How do they get people to worship them? They get into people's minds, learn their darkest secrets, their fears, their shameful desires. With that, they can blackmail, corrupt, and finally, recruit. It's much easier for them than to duplicate, and very efficient. Well, that's all very scary, but thanks, it's going to help us. You're welcome, deputies. If you find anything else connected to the Sor Akath or their allies, bring it to the temple. Talk to Chaplain Delan Lark. You will be well rewarded. Whenever you're ready, the council will meet again. It's an honor, deputies. Who are you? My name is Maddie Green Isle. I work for the Tower of Knowledge. I'm just a junior aide in the council, but if you ever need to contact my superiors without going through official channels, just see me at the Tower, downtown. Why the sudden interest in us? You proved yourselves in the Badlands. Now, we in the Tower of Knowledge value skilled adventurers. If you find anything of historical value, we'll pay well. And you know, if things go well, we might share some of our own secrets. All right. We'll think about it. Uh, <clears throat> can I ask for a minute of your time, deputies? We're in kind of a hurry. I know. I won't delay you long. My name is Hedlund Shorspell. I represent the Arcaneum. And the Arcaneum belongs to the new empire. Do you really want to be seen talking to us? My business is magic, not politics. And no, I have no quarrel with you. You may not see us Imperials as friends, but we take the Council very seriously. We are particularly interested in anything from the old empire that you might find in the Badlands. Anything from the Manakelan era Arcaneum. Even more so. Oh, of course, we'd pay you handsomely for this crown. Although, I know that's not possible. You're smarter than you look. Also quite indifferent to mockery. Anyway, we have an unrivaled trove of magical and other knowledge. Think it's over. You can find me at the Gravekeep's cask. Really? Not at the Embassy? What can I say? I love Martel's beer. Even though it tastes like donkey piss. What? How did he...? That was our joke, the, the first day we met. Was he spying on us? Maybe he just agrees about the taste.
Would you have a moment, deputies? All right, but make it quick. I'll do my best. I am Joyel Foxeye, from the Circle of Denantar. The same magic school where the princess studies? Exactly. Is she a good student? A powerful wizard? That's not for me to say. And you seemed to be in a rush? Fine. I just want you to know that our Grand Master Edvin Denantar has noticed you. He talked a lot, for sure. He's a man of great authority. He'd like you to know that our doors are open to you if you'd care to visit us. You can find me at Sunblaze Court. Interested in Badlands treasures, I suppose, like everyone else? Well, if you ever come across old spell books or spell scrolls, we'd love to see them. In return, we have the largest collection of spells and potion recipes you could ever hope to see. More than the Arcanaeum? They would disagree, but yes. Now, if you were to prefer feeding the new Empire's wizards with more magical knowledge than the Principality, that would be a troubling choice to many on the Council. Neutrality means we don't treat you any differently than we treat them. Of course, neutrality is the rule. Good day to you, deputies. Skies, my friends. Do you know Arwen Merton, the so-called first scavenger? Of course. That's it. Merton. It's a painful topic for me. I'd rather not talk about him. Fair enough. Look who's here. The Sorak Hunters themselves. It's Merton, right? Arwen Merton. Damn right. First scavenger. Where does that come from? Long story, kid. Short version. When we started crossing the marches to the Badlands, I was one of the first. Now, I'm just the ugliest one left standing. What should we know about the Badlands? Any advice? Bring a good cleric, with good healing spells. You'll need them. You're a legend. Why do you seem so sour? Sour? It's this ale that's sour, that's all. The High and Mighty Council, paying clueless kids like you to go and get killed in the Badlands. But they're not asking good old Arwen. No. Go figure. It's because I got them figured out. Figured out how? The Legacy Council is full of it, acting all united and lovey-dovey while they plot to rob each other. Wouldn't surprise me if some of them were even Sorax in disguise. You know they can shapeshift. Uh, okay. Hey, I was right about them hiding in the Badlands, wasn't I? Hello, adventurers. What can I offer you? We'd like to stay for the night. What can I offer? We'd like to stay for...
Hello, adventurer. What can I offer? We'd like to... Busy. Come back later. 